Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to do this video over. Uh, I've actually already done, uh, made a video uh, about uh, capacitance uh, versus voltage and uh, speaking about diodes as well. So I'm actually going to delete that video and replace it with this one right now. Uh, we'll go over the capacitors, uh, the, sorry, the diodes very quickly here. Uh, what I found is a microwave diode is not the most efficient to use in this circuit. Uh, I found that using a string of six uh, diodes all in series gives the best effect. And um, these uh, diodes here are the model uh, number uh, 1N5408 and uh, they seem to give the best effect. Each one of these diodes are rated at a thousand volts, three amps. And uh, when you go less than five, you're actually starting to bleed in uh, some high voltage going back uh, in the opposite direction. And when you go over six, I start finding that you'll have to increase your capacitor size uh, slowly by a minute amounts, but still it might be overkill but anyways that's what I found uh, I would say it would be up to you to uh, decide uh, what you want to do uh, in your circuit but uh, I'm getting some really good results here with just a strand of six uh, 1N 5408s uh, I've got the uh, diodes resting on this plastic container here so it doesn't touch the cardboard uh, of my uh, work area here, which is conductive. Um, now I'll speak about capacitors. Um, the previous video, you should disregard the information that I have there. My calculations weren't correct. Uh, we'll uh, do it the uh, correct way, hopefully, this time. And what I've got here is a 22 microfarad 355 volt rated capacitor and I have my own uh, inductance and capacitance uh, meter here and I've hooked up the uh, meter to that capacitor and um, there's my leads and I've got some alligator clips going to the capacitor and really this capacitor is a 26 microfarad now I'm just doing this just to make sure that everybody's on the same ground but what we'll do is we'll do the math calculations with this 22 microfarad uh, capacitor we won't use the 26 microfarad though that's what it really is now I'll be doing a test with that and then I'll be doing a test with this uh, capacitor bank here which are two microwave oven transformer uh, sorry microwave oven capacitors and one of them here is a one microfarad and these capacitors can handle up to 2500 volts and they are non-polarized they are actually AC capacitors but we're going to be using them with DC and that's fine as well um, the second one is a 0.9 microfarad so this capacitor bank should be a total of 1.9 microfarads so I'll go ahead and, and connect the uh, uh, capacitance meter on here and you'll see now I'll switch my scale to be a little more accurate here and, and I'll switch it to the uh, 2 microfarad scale there and we are very accurate on this capacitor bank. It's this meter saying we've got 1.9 microfarads uh, in that capacitor bank there. So I'm doing this just so that there's good accuracy and we all understand what's happening. I'm just going to pause the camera and I'm going to connect this capacitor here because I need my two hands to do this. All right, hang on there for a sec. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've got the capacitor hooked up now, and that's my 22 microfarad, 350 volt rated capacitor. And that's hooked up to a little circuit that I've got here. Basically, it's just four 
um, 1N4007 uh, diodes and these are 1000 volt rated diodes and I'm not using my it's a bridge rectifier that I made out of four diodes if you can see them all there but I just did that on that little project board there so that's uh, what I'm going to use as bridge rectifier and I'm rectifying the voltage that's coming out of a secondary of a microwave transformer and the primary is hooked up to my variac and my variac is set a very low voltage because this is stepping up the voltage very high. I can bring it into the thousand volt, many thousand volts range, I'm sure. But we're not going to go there. Uh, right now we're going to do a test. And uh, if you look at my voltage meter here, uh, that capacitor now has 305 volts in it. So I'll do a discharge at that voltage and have a look at the spark All right, so that's that capacitor at 303 volts, which is actually exactly one joule uh, of, of power. So you can do the math yourself, but uh, I've already done it and I don't need to do it again. I know that that's one joule of power there. So what I'll do now is I'll just switch my leads over to this uh, other capacitor bank here and these are 1.9 total capacitor uh, capacitance here and I'll discharge this capacitor here make sure that you're very careful working with these capacitors in high voltage you can kill yourself so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna dial this uh, capacitor bank the 1.9 at 1030 volts Kind of difficult to get it accurately there. There we go. So that's that's good enough. So we've got pretty well 1,030 volts right there. And uh, so 1,030 volts there. And now let's compare the spark. To me, to me, this spark is much louder than the previous spark. Though we have exactly the same amount of joule power, uh, if you do the mathematical calculations as well with this capacitor bank, this is exactly one joule, 1 1.9 microfarad set at 1,030 volts is exactly one joule of power. Yet, it's a much louder spark. It has much, much more kick. So this is what I was trying to say, that there is definitely a benefit with the higher voltage than higher capacitance.